Hello everyone, this is MopBot, this is a redstone tutorial, and this is my beacon color changer. So it is pretty compact, it also supports 13 colors. Let's go ahead behind me and turn this thing on. So you'll see that it uses the decay circuit on top of it for the timer, and then it's got a torch on the back here with this piston with redstone block to keep activating it, so it'll keep looping around. The only downfall is that it does have that white between the two colors, but for how many colors it has and how compact it is, I think it really is worth it. It doesn't bother me in the slightest, so let's go ahead and start building it. Okay, so to do the decay circuit timer, you want to start with a lever like this, and that will toggle the machine on and off. We're also going to use this to refer to the front of the machine, so that it will help with the piston aligning, but you want to create a 2x3 platform going back like this, and then knock out this back right corner here and place a half slab like that. Put dust on the back and the front, and then place two comparators like this facing in opposite direction, set them both to subtract mode, and then when you flick the lever, they will all power and lock. Then when you go ahead and unpower, they will slowly deactivate, so then you want to place a redstone torch off the back like this with a sticky piston facing in, redstone block on its face, and you'll see that the timer will start to go. And then you want to place another sticky piston for the rest of the machine off the side like this, and then place a redstone block on its face as well. Okay, so to do the glass, you want to be looking from the front here, and look at this back piston here. Come off one block diagonally, and then another block up like that. Come off three blocks from each side, and then skip the corner bit, and you want to do a block right like that. Come out two more, so you have the three there. Do the same thing there, and then you'll have the empty block here in the corner like that. Then come off a few blocks like this to create the loop with the pistons, and then place the piston facing into the machine like that. And then come off the back, do the same thing here. And then the same thing for this side here. And then the same thing for this side here. And then you've got the loop. Looking at this, you're going to be powering these pistons in a clockwise motion, starting with the upper left, one, two, three, and then four, and the repeater timing will follow as such. Let's start with the left side, pistons one and four. Let's come under a block right like this, and then down a block here. Place a repeater, set it to one tick. That'll be going into this block here. Come out two more, and then one more out like that, so that when this redstone block extends, it will also power this redstone dust here, and then two more right like that and then another block out like this, and a block underneath this piston, and this one will be set to four ticks. Now for the pistons on the right, that's going to be two and three, and they're going to power off of this redstone block here, so come out a few blocks like this, place redstone dust, right like that off another block like that, more redstone dust. It is going to travel back up here, but this will already be powered, so it's not a problem, and as you can see, the power does not go down the half slab, so then you can come up a block like this, another one out like that, and then a block right like that with redstone dust on it, that's what's going to power that piston, then place another piece of dust there, a two tick repeater like that, so that you get the timing for piston number two, and then go out a few blocks like this, and then another one under this piston, and this will be piston number three with redstone dust right like that. Okay, so your beacon's going to go in the back left corner like this. There is enough room for a full tower below it. However, for video's sake, I did only do the top layer. Let's go ahead around the front now. Let's power this, and you'll see that the decay circuit will burn out. And then you'll get the glass start to shift in that fluid motion. Like I said earlier, you do get the blinking, and you can really see it with the black glass. But anyway, I hope you found this useful. Go ahead and subscribe for more tutorials. And anyway, this has been MopBot, and I'm out.